Hey guys, what's up? Michelle Saw here, and I got another quick little tip for you guys. Uh, this one has to do with Cinema 4D. I've been messing around with Cinema 4D for about closer to three years by now. And yeah, if you're a 3D modelist or you're more of an expert on 3D, then you shouldn't be fucking watching this because you probably know this. But if you're a beginner like me, then one thing you know is I haven't had an issue with the dynamics. Now, I got a simple scene here where, you know, I have a sphere exploding and I have some invisible walls in the floor. But as you can notice, the particles here, they just won't stop moving. Once they like land on the floor, they just keep wiggling around and stuff, right? For like the longest time, I did not know what the hell what the problem was. I even went to like you know uh, Maxon's you know, website and you know they make all these weird suggestions about increasing threshold presence and frames and I don't know what the fuck, but I don't know. I was very annoyed, um, so I just dealt with it for like you know for the two years I've been like messing around with Cinema 4D, right? I love the physics in Cinema 4D, but this issue was pissing me off. And then recently, I just found like a solution that was I don't know why the fuck I couldn't find a video about it, so. I just made a video about it now, so um, I guess a quick or temporary fix for this situation of having all the particles move around is this. Let's see, go to the beginning. I'm not going to show you how to make the scene. Uh, I'm assuming you have some basic knowledge of Cinema 4D to be up to this point, right? Um, I use Throssy. That's a free plugin to shatter objects. So once you have your you know, your sphere here that's all you know shattered, I, when I added the dynamic tab, I click on it. Then you go to force, and pretty much uh, you have linear damp dampening and uh, angular dampening. Damping. <laughs> All right, pronounce that like shit. But these two guys, you pretty much animate them from zero percent to hundred percent, right? So in this case, let's say I wanted to start right there. So I'll control click both of them. Create a red keyframe. Move forward a bit. Uh, yeah, right there. Make these a hundred percent. And then right, control click on them again to, to add another keyframe. So now if I play it, see they stop wiggling. Now um one thing you notice uh, right away is that uh, it doesn't look natural, obviously, right? So one thing you can do is go to the Windows, Layout, and then select the Animation Layout. And pretty much, you know, you have your sphere. You can you know, have drop-down menu, and then you can open the Dynamics. Uh, drop down folder here and you can have your keyframe for the linear damping and the angular damping <laughs> and uh, pretty much I guess you have to mess around with uh, the keyframes here to make it more smooth so I mean I'm not gonna go into detail on how to do it I assume you guys mess with curves before so it's you know you have to experiment and find out what works for you because you know everybody's physics is different and everybody's you know animation is gonna be different so uh, this is what I found, and it's, yeah. Now, let me just mess around with this really quick, see if I can figure this out. If not, then I'll just end the video. That looks better. Actually, that looks way better. So let me go back to my normal layout. So as you can see, that looks way better. So by going to the dynamics, you go to force, and then you animate these two, the linear and angular damping, from 0 to 100%, and, you know, the areas that you need to. You know, you can see that, you know, the wiggle stops and it looks a bit more natural than what I had before, right? So, yep, they hit, crash, and then uh, to a stop. So, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this helps. And, um, yeah, leave a like, comment, and uh, if you guys know of a forum that may 
benefit of this video. Appreciate if you guys share it because I sure as hell don't know where to go. But either way, thanks, all right? And take it easy. Peace.